Hey everybody, I'm back. I haven't made a video in a while, but I figured I'd give it another shot, and uh, today I'll be doing Kerbal Space Program. I've been playing a lot of it lately, and uh, uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I've got a lot of mods on. If you can't already tell, if you're familiar, I definitely have Cathane installed, and you can see by the uh, grid overlay uh, of the planet there. Uh, that's from Cathane. <clears throat> There'll be a... Um, mod description list, or mod list rather in the description, uh, more than likely when I post this video, if you're curious. Uh, maybe not all will be f uh, featured in this video, but uh, they're definitely activated. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and load. I'm not real crazy about doing any editing tonight, so uh, the load times are pretty quick, but I might the audio might cut out when uh, I transition between scenes. So here we go. So we're here at Kerbal Space Program. Tried to make a video recently and launch a, a rocket, uh, and I spent about a half hour doing it and found out that the recording program I was using did not have uh, a default setting that was um, uh, compatible with uh, the video editing software I was using, so I had to go and figure all that out. Anyway, uh, here you can see the uh, flag of the Kerbal Space Program. The way I have it set up is every few months a uh, new country in Kerbal will come in and put a new flag. So I have a whole bunch of ships in orbit with different flags. Uh, and occasionally uh, I'll use a different flag even though KSP is held by a different country. That's just how I play anyway. Anyway, so we'll take a look at my, uh, my uh, Kerbal headquarters here. So this is who I've got uh, available. Uh, these guys are mainly on, either on the moon base or on the station around uh, Kerbin, and these guys died valiantly for Kerbal Kind. So today we are going to be doing a uh, mission to launch a satellite into orbit, and the mission came from Mission Controller Extended, a mod that I'm using. Um, the, I've already done the mission, but I can redo it, and that's what I'm going to do for your uh, video watching pleasure. It's this mission here. Launch a military satellite. Uh, it's going to be about uh, 3 million uh, meters uh, out uh, orbit, uh, 3 for an inclination, and then these required parts, uh, minimum electric charge, minimum monopropellant, and no fuel in the final stage, and I got a little trick to fix that. So we're going to select that. It's a really cool mod. You can um, change the costs for the Kerbals and insurance cost, higher cost. Um, you actually have to click the hire Kerbal button. They haven't uh, uh, tied it to when you hire a Kerbal, but they will eventually. This is probably going away in the next update, update anyway. I've got some uh, missions coming in, paying on a daily basis. And it's got to configure flight testing mode, 3% of the cost of the rocket, disable plug-in, you can rewind if you make a mistake. It's pretty neat. Anyway, we'll go into the VAB, take a look at the rocket I built this mission. Alright, so, we're going to load up H-Orb 2. Alright, so here we are. These funky tanks here, I used a another mod, Curb Paint to paint some default tanks, some pretty wicked colors for the uh, for the video. This here is part of a mod pack that allows you allows you to add 3D models of flags, uh, flat and curved in various sizes for different rockets. And uh, it replaces this with the flag texture, the mission flag texture once you're on the pad. That's also a pretty cool mod. Um, this, this one only works for painting default mainly default parts and not all default default parts just yet but uh, we'll see how that progresses it's a pretty neat mod I think it just recolors shaders or something like that anyway uh, if I pull this fairing off you can see the final stage there's stage ones here stage two is this part and then the final stage is this guy right here I repainted this tank as well got another flag on there got some antennas a dish some solar panels, and I will be using MechJeb for this mission, just to simplify things. All right, so let's put this back on. Some people like 
mech jab. Some people don't. I like to use it sometimes. Sometimes I like to just go, um, like, you know, naked, I guess you could say. All right, so that's the rocket. We're going to go ahead and launch it now. Uh, give me just a moment. It doesn't take but more than uh, maybe 10 seconds or so. All right, and we're back. So we've got mech jab, and it is ready to go. Let's take a look at ascent guidance. I had pre-programmed all this stuff before making the video. There's the cost of the rocket here is quite a lot, but the uh, immediate payout plus the lifetime of the rocket payout should uh, pay more than the cost of the rocket, and that's the overall goal here. So we're looking at 2995 kilometers uh, for the periapsis and apoapsis in and around there anyway. Uh, inclination of three, I got the required parts, and I'm going to use fuel balancer mod to dump the fuel when I'm at the top. So we're going to go ahead and engage autopilot and engage liftoff. <laughs> Not real sure how well you guys can hear me right now. You know, rockets are super loud. If you're interested, this thing off the launch pad has quite a bit of thrust to weight ratio. Like I said, probably overkill, but it looks cool. And there's the flag. I've also got auto stage on uh, for the purposes. I like to usually manually do this, but for making the video, I figured it would be easier if I just let Mac jump do it so I don't forget anything. I've watched enough of Scott Manley's videos while he's talking, he forgets how to stage his rocket. And by the way, if you haven't watched Scott Manley's videos, you should. Search them on YouTube. Great, great, great videos. Guys, really intelligent and uh, he's got great taste in video games and uh, I could listen to him all day. Alright, so I just realized how ugly these tanks are, but oh well. I thought they kind of matched the Kerbal flag that I was using. I just think it's cool I can repaint stock parts. Alright, so uh, I'm trying to think of what else you might want to see when I'm launching this rocket. Keep in mind Mech Jeb is not part of the stock game if you're not familiar with Kerb uh, Kerbal Space Program, but this game in and itself, by itself, Vanilla is a great game, and then the modding community just really makes this game worthwhile. Uh, I mean, anything you can think of, it's you can find it as a mod. And I've done some pretty crazy stuff in this game with mods. Anyway, so our apoapsis is coming up to uh, right, 1 million meters, 1.5 million meters. Fairings blew away automatically, and that stage is gone. We're going to go ahead, since we're out of the atmosphere, we're going to go ahead and extend these panels so we don't run out of juice. Get some of these communicators out. For it auto warps up. Uh, well, I got two of them out. All right. So, there goes Kerbin. All right. So, here it goes. We're lined up with the maneuver node, and in four minutes, we're still at, uh, at warp. 50, now 50, 40 seconds. Oh, God, it's going so quick. Be burning uh, through 454 meters per second of delta V to circularize the orbit, and then I will do my fuel dump and cash in the mission. somebody like Earth tries and invades. All right. So, now we just have to do our fuel dump. But before we do that, 
I'm going to go ahead and point this thing at the planet. Now I'm going to align these solar panels up with the axis of the uh, galaxy, I guess I could say. So that way, no matter what way this thing's facing, in the event that it doesn't continue to stay facing at the planet, uh, the solar panels can auto-rotate toward the sun. Now let's do our fuel dump. This is a great mod too, by the way. All right, we just sprayed a whole bunch of fuel and oxidizer out into space. And we are good to finish the goal. So, client will get control over the vessel when the mission is finished. That means that it will disable my ability to control this vessel. I won't be able to fly it anymore, even while I'm sitting here. Now, I can kind of cheat with Mech Jeb. I don't think you're supposed to, so I don't. Finish the mission. You'll see I go from 80,000 to 95 ish. Bam. And I will close that. And we'll go back to the Space Center. Oh boy, they're all right next to each other. Didn't think about that. <laughs> oh well. I meant to space them out. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> well, one side of Kerbin's completely covered. That's for sure. All right. Well, anyway, I think that'll do it for this video. I was just saying thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, maybe on the next video, I'll go ahead and uh, show you my uh, space shuttle knockoff that I made and launch something small into orbit. But until next time, uh, I'll catch you later. Thanks.